Hey everyone, and welcome to 3D Metal Model Basics. I'm your host, Disorderly Cone. Tweezers, these are your primary tools when it comes to building these 3D metal models, but there are quite a few out there. Which ones do you choose? Well, hopefully by the end of this video, you'll have a good idea of which ones you wanna go for. And I don't like when it comes to all tools, Pretty much this comes down to personal preference. Which ones work best for you may not work best for your friend down the street. And well, that just goes to show you by how many different types of tweezers are on the market. Now I'm having a hard time getting these out of my pocket because they seem to sneak down the side. <clears throat> there we go. These guys right here are your basic detail tweezers. I like these ones a lot and you probably see me use these quite a bit in my videos. But I actually started out with these silver ones right here. You might have these inside of your medicine cabinet and I actually still use them quite a bit till today. Now these guys are really nice because they are very thick. And that is really the main thing that I look for when it comes to tweezers, when it comes to building these 3D metal models. The thicker the tweezers, the better they are for forming different pieces, especially when the models are on the thicker side, like Time for Machine, or even some of the more difficult ones from Metal Earth. Now, these detailed tweezers, unfortunately, all aren't created equal. And I've had to do quite a bit of searching to find a set that works for me. I'm still not really excited with the tweezer set that I have here because I find that they just aren't really that thick. The first ones that I started looking for, and I actually started looking for these for my store originally, uh, were these guys right here. Now, yeah, they look cool and they're even branded, but when you open them up, the inside, now again, I did test a lot of these so they're not all in here. Um, these guys right here, well, while they're kind of nice looking, and yeah, they have my little uh, little maple leaf on there, they're super thin. And when it comes to bending these 3D metal models, having any kind of thin tweezers like this really just doesn't do. So I had to keep searching. And when I kept searching, I found my second set here, which was these guys. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to get them labeled. And these ones were a lot better. I mean, they come in a really cool satchel, just like this. And there's quite a bit here to choose from. And the great thing about having this many choices, especially when it comes to building models like this, sometimes you'll find that uh, these thick guys just can't get to the part that you need. They're just not long enough. And that's why having something like this can be really handy. Even some of these long pointy ones here or the slanted curved ones can come in handy too. One other reason why I tend to use detailed tweezers a lot more on the show than your average pair of tweezers is because these tweezers can actually be used as a mini break. I know that some of you on my show have seen me use the side of my tweezers to help me form my pieces. And well, that's why I like them so much. I find that not only can you use the tip of your tweezers, but you can also use the sides and also use the different angles of the tweezers to get the pieces to form correctly directly, which you really just can't do on a standard pair of tweezers. So on average, these guys right here are pretty high on the build list. The great thing about these two is when you're looking for tweezers, you'll find that one set of tweezers will be $14 Canadian. And yes, I'm using Canadian prices, uh, but that $14 Canadian, where a set like this can run $14.99, $19.99, and well, up to whatever you wanna pay. The thing is, is that the cheaper sets are most likely going to be these little flimsy ones here, and the more expensive ones are most likely gonna be thicker and better for the hobby here. Again, variety is key. And my friend Adam and Orange actually took some of the sharper tweezers here, which for the most part are really helpful for forming long pieces. Uh, but when it comes to actually getting tabs sometimes inside of your model, if you're trying to push them with these really sharp edges, they'll just bend, which uh, doesn't really do you any good. So by grinding them down, like my friend Adam and Orange did, uh, you can actually have a really useful piece. Now, another thing that people have recently been asking me a quite a bit about is this tool right here. This is a metal model bending tool or a pencil tool or a small break. I don't know. There's a couple different names out there for this guy, but I actually really enjoy this tool too. This is a piece of steel that comes down into a pencil. And then on one end here, we have a little tiny cut. It looks about a millimeter. And then on the other side here, we have a flat side with another millimeter cut. 
This allows you to be able to grab our tabs at different lengths and of course bend them and twist them to wherever we need. You can also use this piece as a forming tool for different parts of cylinders and being that it's at a really unique size, I find that it actually is heavily useful for getting cylinders on most of our metal models. This tool can be a little tricky to find, and I'm actually currently trying to work on getting a version of this milled uh, for our website, and that way you guys can find them a lot easier. I also want to make some improvements to this. I have a couple of ideas about how this could be made better, and also some other tools that we could also do. But um, getting that done seems to be almost impossible right now with this whole thing going on. But that's getting a little bit off topic. What tweezers do you use? Do you find that detailed tweezers are better than your average tweezers? And uh, do you like using a little pencil like this? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you're looking to get some 3D metal models, I would check out GrooveBuilders.ca. We have all kinds of really cool builds on there at great prices with fast shipping to the United States and Canada. And hopefully soon, our own tools. Until next time, Groovers, keep building.